Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Pisces, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, Pisces, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. Um, as well, Pisces, I would like to ask for you if you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Pisces, I would be really appreciative of it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way, Pisces. And as well, before we get into this weekly reading for you, Pisces, I just want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Pisces, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. As well, Pisces, I just want to say that I believe my tarot cards, uh, before you before you even receive any message today from me, I believe all my tarot cards are not here to make a decision. My tarot readings are not here to make a decision in your life, Pisces, because it's your life to live, right? Um, <laughs> I believe my tarot cards here are just here to give you a, some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, just never making the decision in your life because, honey, these are just some tarot cards, right? And it's your life we're talking about. So with all that being said, Pisces, let's just get into your weekly reading now today. So I pulled some cards already, Pisces, for you. Uh, because I just wanted to get a uh, general idea of what it is what, what it is that's going on for you, all right? What it is that your journey has been looking like so far, all right? So starting this out for you, we have the Knight of Air. I'll read it out to you on the card, rather. Uh, it says, events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. So very, a lot of... Um, Things are probably going to be happening this week for you. Uh, um, I had the biggest brain fart right there because y'all know Pisces if you ever had like deja vu like how weird and surreal of a feeling it is in the moment. I had deja vu intense deja vu last week and I can't help, I feel like I was with you guys as well Pisces. Um, yeah that's just what happened. Um, but I do kind of see a lot of thing, good things heading your way rather quickly here. Now, with the Knight of Air, as I was saying before, I had that deja vu moment, that weird, uh, that's so Raven Simone moment, honey. Um, this usually is just a sign of just like whatever is coming, whether it be good or bad, honey, it's coming and it's coming in quick. Um, and it's going to really uh, challenge your thought process, challenge your mindset on how you handle this, right? Um, Dare I say, Pisces, that this is, I always say dare I say just for my tarot readings. I do not speak like that. It's just normal accord. But um, I do get this sense, Pisces, that <sighs> how do I want to put this, Pisces? I, I kind of feel like this only happens with this night of air. It's like thing like once you step into a gauntlet. Does that make sense? Where it's like once you take that step, that's when it like the game starts, right? That's when the clock starts ticking. That's when the things start being thrown at you. Because you have this nine of fire here. And the nine of fire says, Don't give up. Protect that which you've created and have courage and believe in yourself. Such a cheesy message on the card itself. But I like to view this card as a card of um <clears throat> I've said this for all the water signs, Pisces, but I feel the need to clarify. I'm trying to hold myself back from burping, and I'm not trying to belch in front of y'all. So if you see me making a weird face and just zoning out for a moment, it's me trying not to just belch in the middle of y'all's reading, because that is not in y'all's future, honey. Um, it's me doing that disgusting burp. <laughs> but the Nine of Fire, I see this more so as the situation of where it's like you take a step into this gauntlet, whether it's you taking this step towards some type of project, an affirmative step, whether it's like, I just heard the example of like you putting in your two weeks, uh, two week notice into something, 
I feel like that's when the ball starts rolling for you. Uh, you have the Ace of Earth coming in for you, uh, saying the inflow of abundance, promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So I do feel like you're being this week uh, Pisces, you're going to be called to step up to the plate. You're going to be adopting more um, responsibility this week, whatever, some type of capacity that really challenges you. But I feel like it's a good challenge, Pisces. I really do feel like it's a good challenge. Um, but cards just been all over. But Pisces, I do get the sense that you guys have to take step foot into like a new doorway for example right you have to leave i don't feel like this is anything to do with any type of old energy uh, or tying off loose ends or anything like that pisces i do just get this sense that you guys are king of coins yeah you guys pisces this week are really going to be put up to the task and see if you're ready up ready up for the task rather does that make sense so let's pull some clarifiers on this Hmm. All right, these four cards. All right, so we have the six of... Honey, I cannot keep all my tarot cards in place with you guys, Pisces. <laughs> we have, as I was saying before, six of cups, Pisces, with the page of cups, then the queen of coins, and then the hierophant bold bold energies and remember we pulled this king of coins for you prior so give me a moment pisces because this is a lot of like bold energy here it's very interesting because all of your cards are really setting up towards some type of something being offered some type of opportunity being offered but i feel like you know it's kind of like a you're not going to get that offer until you walk through that door right it's kind of like you're not going to be like you could be standing outside of a restaurant outside their door but it's kind of unrealistic and kind of silly for you to think that a waiter is going to come out or a hostess is going to come out and be like ask you to take your order or ask you to take a seat somewhere inside the restaurant until you actually go through it, that door and make uh make your presence known right if you just stand outside waiting on the outskirts nothing's going to come towards you pisces it's just going to be forever this waiting game but i do see once you step forward that's when all the offers come pouring in page of cups with the six of cups here both of these are offers both of these are cards coming to you pisces with something and so Let's go back to this Ace of Earth and what this card says on the card itself. Uh, it talks about um, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts, right? So you read in between the lines because these are the clarifiers for this, right? Um, with that bit important business venture and those important documents, right? These two cards of offerings, I really do get this sense uh, Pisces, that whatever this offer is, it's going to be something really good for you. It's going to put more responsibility for you, but with that responsibility comes more abundance, right? So it's one of those things are of like, are you going to be up for the task, uh, Pisces? Because um, I do feel like it brings forward a lot of stability in your life with this King of Coins, but you know, with that king of coins, with running that empire, right? It does take a lot. So definitely just, I keep hearing if you're going to be up for the task. And then you have queen of coins and the hierophant. Now I am going to just call the elephant in the room with the Pisces, right? This is very much so counterpart energy. Um, so if this is, especially with the offer, the page of cups, which could represent a person coming into your life, um, and it could be someone from your past as well. I am going to just give this narrative for those of this is resonating a social situation for. Um, Six of Cups could, does talk about like someone from your past could potentially coming back in this dynamic, right? If you were to pair the cards up in a social dynamic, um, be that way. For me, I like to read the Cups cards when it comes to general readings as a sign of uh, opportunity of some sort, especially um, with the business uh, card with the Ace of Pentacles. That's why I would read it in that way. But I just like to cover my bases for those that, whichever way that Pisces is receiving this message. Um, 
but also the Hierophant talks about higher commitment, whether it is romantic or not. Um, so when you have the Queen of Coins, again, as I was saying before, it's very much so that counterpart energy. So it's definitely like, if this is in regards to a social situation, Pisces, definitely someone anticipate someone coming in from your past. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if they already have made their presence known in some way. Three of Fire. Yeah, this is the card of like, you're starting to see signs on stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised at all, Pisces, if this person already on some level has made their presence known. Um, but I really do kind of just want to go back to the opportunity of some sort, Pisces, because I do feel like, especially with that Hierophant and that Queen of Pentacles, like all this, if this is in terms of some type of like job, finance situation where like whatever if money is involved in it basically pisces um i feel like it's gonna turn out very beautifully for you and going out in your favor but i yeah i just see something just being presented to you this week something whether and keep in mind this doesn't mean when i say you something for the like this is just tarot honey remember right but when i say something being presented to you you could just be presented the doorway right presented with that opportunity to walk through that thing that i was talking about right um you still have to work towards it you still have to what have you but it's going to be available to you pisces so if you are looking for to welcome in a new energy of some sort welcoming in a new energy or um welcoming in when i say that new energy right this person it's all encompassing right i would really say be receptive make yourself as available as possible to be reached out to because um definitely with that six of cups with this page of cups this is really emphasizing on something being given to you look at both of these cards pisces just in the artwork if you don't want to take my word in the definition for um <laughs> for you right look at the cards this individual is offering their cup as well as this individual is offering their cup now the six of uh, cups as i was saying before it could be uh, talking about a past energy romanticizing the past in some way so um it's interesting though because now i want to address this more so in terms of an opportunity right as before because i talk about it for the social for the six of cups but i either way hmm. if it is like an opportunity this is definitely something that you tried to have your hands and ha hands in before i feel like pisces that's all i'm gonna say on that um so yeah, let's now look at Pisces. What is going to be going on for you this week? Let's see what's going on this week uh, for my Pisces today. All right. Hmm. Okay. I probably looked really weird there. <laughs> All right, so a lot of cards for you. King of Cups, Pisces, Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Sun card with the Ten of Cups. So, really confirming to me before of like what I was saying before with that Six of Cups, whether it's an opportunity, honey, whether it's a job, whatever this is, this is not an unfam uh, unfamiliar energy to you. This is something that you definitely had some type of situation with before right that kind of brought you pain there was definitely some type of rejection of some type where maybe you were feeling like you were not enough where you feel like you just weren't understood um where just yeah like i do feel like you tried to attempt the situation whatever is coming back to you i feel like you already tried at one point and so the only thing i would kind of say if you um i mean just i mean because i don't know y'all's story right i would say if you're wanting this to happen, right? I So far, I'm not seeing why you wouldn't because uh, I don't feel anything bad from it. Maybe you have a history there, honey, but it's in the history for a reason. It's not your future. Um, I do get the sense that you might be a little bit hardened to the situation. Um, it's almost just like, even if you were to start feeding energy into it, you're not going to be quite sold for a while um, because of just how whatever happened in the past with you, right? With the situation. King of Cups with this Knight of Pentacles here. 
I do feel like there's some emotional growth here. I do feel as if you are ready now. So if this is a situation from before that you've dealt with, maybe maybe it just wasn't the right timing. Maybe there wasn't just enough maturity, right? Maturity is a heavy role, plays a heavy role in this as well. Maybe it just, it does feel as if like something needed to be refined more, whether it was on your part, uh, Pisces, or whether it was on the other person's part or the situation that needed more time. Um, I do feel like time kind of needed to happen just for like the maturingness of this. But here's the thing. This is why I say Pisces that I'm not really seeing why you wouldn't want to open up to this again, right? At least from a tarot perspective, right? Because again, I don't know y'all's history. Um, but Ten of Cups with the Sun card. These are both extremely positive cards. These are both cards of extreme fulfillment, of extreme abundance, extreme happiness. So I'm seeing this Pisces as like a really good thing. Now, it's kind of up to you, Pisces, to kind of make the decision on like how you're going to feel about this, right? With the King of Cups here. You kind of have to be the one to be like, all right, well, the only thing I would... Basically, I guess what I'm trying to say, Pisces, is um, notice how I like stop myself from going on that tangent. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is the best thing you would you could do for yourself this week, um, or at least how I would be taking this message if this was for me, Pisces, I would be like, oh, okay, I need to uh, keep my emotions in check. Think more logically this week rather than allowing your emotions to make the decisions for you. Um, but yeah because then you have the page of swords here this extra card this is all about communication and now with the pages here this is usually this in other people's tarot they'll see the page of swords as someone having their eye on you right so if this is a person from your past right they're definitely keeping watch of you they're aware of you right i don't like to feed too much into the um that kind of thing right but i also see the page of swords as a situation where it's just like communication is not the best i feel like you guys could very there's a situation where communication you get like something like it just feels like two different situations or two different energies not communicating or not uh, functioning off the, the same wavelength if that makes sense for you pisces so yeah, the best suggestions I could have for you this week, Pisces, is to really um, just don't allow your emotions to get the best of you. Don't choose, do not cut, <laughs> the phrase I used to always hear as a kid is don't cut your nose to spite your face, which basically means um, don't just cut, like, don't just, like, hurt yourself in the process just to prove a point, Pisces, right? Think things through logically. Um, there's a time for emotions and then there's a time for logic, right? And while you may have a lot of strong emotions be brought up for you um, in the moment of interaction and what have you, that doesn't mean you need to fall victim to it, right? You can have those emotions and they can be just, just as quickly as they come and they can be just as quickly uh, passing for you in your life. So that is just something I wanted to say, Pisces. So um, yeah, let's get some closing uh, oracle cards for you this week, Pisces, see what the Oracle cards have to say, what advice they have for you. All right, I'm gonna be pulling, by the way, Pisces, if I can find the tarot decks, uh, two animal Oracle cards, as well as two moon Oracle cards. So, all right, or three Oracle moon cards for you. <laughs> Y'all Pisces got a lot of cards this week, <laughs> more than I usually will do for people. So let's talk about your moon oracle cards since you got so many of those. Uh, full moon and eclipse. These oracle cards I don't like to speak too much on just because I feel like these are very much so speaking for very specific situations for you guys that you don't really need me to like delve into it, right? Full moon, eclipse, conclusions are within reach. Full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. And new moon in Gemini, communication is key. What was I talking about with that page of swords, by the way? Um, conclusions with, I like how I said I wasn't going to explain it, but I like, I just associate so much with this situation from before where it's like this past thing, you guys could work this out. Uh, especially, you know, that full moon in Virgo where it's like, you are good enough. If you experienced rejection in the past, don't let it eat up at you. 
um, and don't feel like you weren't good enough for the situation at the time. Again, I just feel like there's some type of maturing that needed to happen. Um, just time needed to pass before it actually would be meant for you, Pisces. And I know that just sounds like a cop out, but with these cards, honey, I mean, can you really argue, right? And then your animal oracle cards, you have the walrus card which says, remain vigilant about the current situation, pay attention to signs and omens, and let them dictate your choices, right? So this is a card of literally just like th thinking things through logically, right? Not letting your emotions get the best of you. I love these oracle cards, honey, because it just shows to you that how much they're on my side when it comes to me babbling on, right? And then your final card is the panda card. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. So definitely, whenever that card comes forward, Pisces, this is usually a card of, like, spirit will bring this forward when it, you need to make a conscious effort of disconnecting from your current space, um, right? I feel like you do need something to make yourself reset. So whether it's creating a sacred space, honey, um, in, your work, uh, in your home or workplace, or whether it's you getting into the habit of, like, taking more walks out into nature, just making more of a point to just get up and move, uh, Pisces, I really feel like it would be extremely beneficial for you, um, especially when you're trying to not have the emotions get best of you, get the best of you. But uh, yeah, Pisces, that is the tarot cards that I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading for you, this weekly tarot reading for you. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces. And also, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, Pisces, not just yours. Uh, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video uh to a friend or one of their zodiac signs i guess i'm assuming that they're all pisces <laughs> send them their zodiac sign pisces and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them but until next time pisces i love you so much